welcome to my video tutorials for the matrix class as we all know I've been given the amazing task of creating video tutorials for the classes that we are going to be using for our project um, in our computational maths course so without wasting too much time let's jump into the creation and the implementation and uses of this matrix class I'm just going to open my IDE. I use Xcode. I know people have their preferences and may use other IDEs, um, but it's not going to really affect the content of these tutorials too much. I'm going to use uh, one of my previous projects uh, to demonstrate the uses and the structure of the class and I think I'm going to use um, a Jacobi tri diag project that I worked on previously um, we, it, it focuses more on the tri diag class itself more than the dense class but you'll get the idea of exactly how the major class works with these examples let me just open the project for you So, this might all look really confusing now that it's all open, but we'll go through things step by step so that we can break it down and look at each element and see what the purpose is of each element and how it's used. The overall structure of the matrix class has multi -layer, it's multi-layered. Um, it has various layers. The, 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 the topmost layer is the parent layer, and this is called the matrix class itself. Is defined here. Um, it's called the the file itself is morpheus.h, and these need this file will need to be included wherever you're going to be creating matrix objects. So the class definition needs to occur within this file, and we can see the the definition from here. This is just a standard layout, as you all know, of a class. And what actually makes these objects matrix objects uh, is simply the protected or private variables. And this is the structure of a matrix object. We have five variables that we can see here, one of which is an array of two elements. We have the number of rows, the number of columns, the stride, the size, and the shape. The first four are pretty straightforward. Shape, on the other hand, is exactly what your matrix, what, or what you, you would like your matrix to look like. If it's a square matrix, we'd have exactly the same variables in each element of this array. If you'd like a rectangular matrix, those variables would be different. Um, we obviously need methods within this class to be able to call any one of these protected variables as they aren't generally accessible from outside the class, so they shouldn't be. We use get size and get shape or get functions to be more general to do this. These two functions here will allow you to access the size and the shape of this matrix or of a defined matrix from outside the class. To change the size or the shape of these, or rather to change the size or the shape variables in, in an object, we use set methods. And those are declared here. You'll, and you'll notice that they are in line declarations, whereas usually you'd actually implement them and the code for them outside of the header file. Because they are such simple uh, methods, it's, some, it's, it's fair enough to do it just here in one line. And they're just set to zero. You then, at a later stage, will set them to be what you would like them to be. This will usually happen uh, during the declaration. And since you'll, all, you'll mainly be creating dense or tridiag objects, which are subclasses of this class, they will have their own constructors and they will have their own 
implementations for size, for shape, and for their protected variable. And you can see this at the bottom here. This is where it's been declared that they would be they will be friends of this class. So this is a pretty simple class, and it's 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 just a matter of structuring the entire class, and this is how it's used to structure it. We'll jump into the tri diag class because most of the examples that we're going to look at are going to be tri diag examples. So we'll look at the tri diag header file for now. So this is the tri diag header file, and as you can see, the Morpheus .h header file is included here. Of course, this must happen; otherwise, we we'll, won't we won't actually be able to create objects of matrix uh, of the matrix class. Um, so the n the namespace is declared here, and the class is declared below it. Tri diag objects, as you can see, are just a, co a compilation of their protected variables and the protected variables used for tri diags consist of just three things a pointer to the tri diag row or diagonal a pointer to the upper diagonal and a pointer to the lower diagonal this is all a tri diag is and this makes sense because you can think of it in those terms you can think of a tri diag a tri diagonal matrix in reality of consisting of those three elements basically the public declarations for each of the methods declared in this class are listed below here in the public section so we have a constructor we have as you can see it's 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 a it's simply borrowing from the matrix class um, and then we have a initializer specifically for the tri diag class we have set functions very similar to the matrix class as we will need to use these to change the uh, size and the shape if need be of the tri diagonal class however the the size the shape of the tri diagonal class will always be a square matrix we have get functions to to be able to access the variables from within the protected variables outside of this class and we have get the declarations or get functions specifically for elements within these three diagonals we have a full matrix we have a transpose a full matrix a vector product and a Jacobi method and Jacobi methods and these these are so as far as we've worked on this class so far, this is what we've, you know, we have, we have um, matrix um, or operator overloading, and this is as far, and we have two print, um, we have two print functions as well. Um, we, we'll, this is a work in progress, and this is exactly what the purpose of these tutorials is to show, to to, to demonstrate exactly how we go about adding methods, how we go about um, you know, maintaining this class and growing this class so that it does function for any situation that we would need to use it for uh, for the project, just in general. So let's jump into the, the okay. So this is the declarations of the methods, but let's jump into the actual methods themselves. So the first method is the, the operator and operator. I'm um, sorry, the the constructor. And constructors are obviously needed, otherwise we will never be able to actually create an object of a specific class. Um, the, 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 up, um, the constructor for this class is here, and it requires two inputs to be able to define the, the object itself. Uh, we need int and a double. The int is labeled m, and the double is labeled data. Data makes sense. It, you can actually see it's a it's a data array. Uh, more specifically, it's a pointer to a data array, and the data is used in the full matrix function that we we got from here, which we declared up here, um, and we we obviously use this part of the constructor to populate the 
elements within within our matrix. Um, M, as you can see, the way it's described here, in these three lines, I'll highlight them for you. M is used to set the size of the array. Uh, more importantly, M is set to you to M is used to set the size of the matrix. If you think about it, the size of our matrix, the main diagonal will always be the lo largest diagonal. The upper and the lower diagonals will always be one less. And this is exactly what's, what's the, what this is saying here. M is the input into this constructor. And M sets a new double array into tridiag. What is tridiag? Tridiag is our if you look up here, one of our protected variables. We have tridiag upper and tridiag lower as well, and these are also set in the constructor to new arrays with these sizes. If M, if, if we were looking at a square matrix, a 3 by 3 square matrix, M would be 3, the main diagonal would be 3, and if you think about it, the upper and the lower diagonals will be 2 each, and this is why we have M minus 1 on each side there. We also pass this pointer to, to an array for data, and the data fills these where we need it to be full. Rows equal columns, um, set shape and set size are used to, to finish off the constructor. We, have, we now have an, an object. I will ob obviously show you all this in, in practice and exactly how it works, but we're just going through the, the class right now uh, just to have a look at what we have so far in, within this class. Um, we have a set size function which merely sets the uh, the size is you know as a row size and columns. We have a set shape which change each element as we saw before in, in the shape array, uh, depending on how many rows and how many columns. This should always be the same for a tridiagonal matrix. We have a get size which merely returns the size, get shape, which returns the shape, get rows, which returns the rows. We have get diagonal element which actually allows you to input an index within a specific diagonal. So get diagonal element would be along the main diagonal, get diagonal, uh, up diagonal element would be along the upper diagonal, and get low diag element would be along the low diagonal. So t we is the function de declared for transposing the matrix. And if you look at this, at the implementation of this function, you will see exactly what happens. Uh, and from theory, we know that the, only, the, the main diagonal will always stay the same, and the upper and lower will merely just swap each element. And this is exactly what's been described here. Uh, your full matrix function below here sets the data that you send in here to each of the diagonals that we need to fill. So there's obviously a specific format that we need to pass into this input argument. And the comment here says it all. We must have a pointer array of three pointers. So what we actually need to send in here is a pointer array. So we it's not the actual data that goes in here, it's the pointers to that data. And it obviously needs to be three of those pointers to Put it, you know, apply to this to this array, and those will be used to actually fill the matrix. I know it might seem a little bit confusing, especially because I'm not the best at being able to explain myself right now. But we'll actually look at at an implementation, and um, it'll make much more sense then. Okay, so we have a vector product function as well. Um, if you think about the way a vector product works, you have an array, and you're multiplying it by a vector, and you you'll multiply every row by that vector or each every every element in each row by every element in that vector and you will have a resultant matrix of a specific size and that pretty much sums up exactly what is being described here within the implementation of this of this function um, we can actually look at an example of where this works and how it works as well here th this is the the not just not the declaration, sorry, the, um, the actual implementation of the Jacobi function. 
it's uh, pretty tricky to to go through and explain the whole thing and I want to be pretty brief about this but um, basically you if you know how Jacobi works we obviously use uh, a B vector an initial XI or um, initial guesstimate uh, vector um, and uh, and I've also implemented the damping factor as well um, you know already uh, it takes these three inputs um, and applies them to the the matrix that you're looking at and uh, We'll we'll solve that matrix using this this function. I'm not going to go into too much detail on exactly how this works, but I'll, I think it's more important to show you um, where it works and and its use. And I'll I will show you I'll show you that in the C plus plus file that we're going to look at just now. Uh, but but this is one of the functions that's also uh, create that has also been created, and 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 works. Um, so, so we start with the, with the operator overloading. The, this can be pretty useful, and I think a lot of the times you will you will have to use this, especially for the iteration, uh, you know, the iteration functions or the iteration uses that you you need later on. So we have uh, we have uh, the upper the the, the the parentheses operator. We have the equals operator or the assignment operator. Um, which obviously is fairly straightforward on how to use. We have uh, an addition operator, and we have a we have a power operator, and that's the end of the operators. And each operator is m merely giving you the, ad you know, the, the the ability to be able to take two matrices of this class and, for example, raise it to the lower well, matrix of the class and raise it to a power here, or two matrix of this class and and add the um, here, and you can assign one matrix to another, and all the elements in that matrix will be all the elements in the other one that you assigned it with. Um, we have two print functions, which I created. The, well, I didn't create this function. I didn't create the print function. This was here for originally. I created a printf function just in case you don't actually want to see your. You don't want to see out the matrix itself. You'd rather print it to a file. Um, you you can actually give it the file name here, and this file could be anything from text file to CSV file. It uh, it'll display it in that file, display the matrix that you're looking at in that file. So that, that's pretty much the implementation of um, of the class. Um, let let's look at the how how you're actually going to use it, and um, and I'll, I'll I'll show you uh, you know the the breakdown of um, of a few other steps within 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 this class. Uh, we'll do that in the next video. Thank you for watching.